A major milestone today for offshore wind energy in New York and in the nation. Uh, the U.S., the first commercial scale off shore wind project in the nation is churning out clean renewable energy on Long Island. The wind farm off Montauk is just about done. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff tells us, though other local wind projects are facing some hurdles. The first of the giant turbines is spinning, feeding the grid that powers East Hampton. Where town hall was filled with celebrants of an historic milestone. Today, these, some of this electricity could be coming from that offshore wind. A decade in the making, South Fork Wind is 35 miles off Montauk. Within weeks, 12 turbines will generate power for 70,000 homes, the equivalent of taking 60,000 carbon producing cars off the road for decades. We showed you the turbines under construction in Rhode Island. Now the cable is sending green energy under the ocean floor to East Hampton, a new chapter for the nation. This is a big day. We're celebrating the first offshore wind turbine to be built in federal waters, the first in New York State, but the first of what will be thousands that will eventually power half of Long Island. The town of East Hampton was the first in New York to embrace offshore wind in the wake of Superstorm Sandy when the threat of climate change and sea level rise became a reality. To be here today, uh, 11 years later, on the front lines of leading this country into a new clean energy future with offshore wind is truly, truly a great day. It's crossing the finish line amid challenges. Orsted just terminated two projects in New Jersey, citing interest rates and supply chain delays. Community opposition killed Equinor's plan to land a wind cable off of Long Beach in Nassau. Orsted says it's not giving up on the East Coast. We're evaluating our options in, in New Jersey. We still own the leases down there, so it doesn't mean that we're, we won't you know, eventually maybe restart projects down there. And advocates say they're not deterred. It's certainly true that these projects are struggling, but at the end of the day, our commitment and certainly the governor's commitment remains firm. Their hope is East Hampton will be a model. It will demonstrate, you know, the good quality jobs that this industry can create. It'll demonstrate that the environmental impacts that everyone's concerned about are negligible. New York's goal is zero emissions electricity by 2040. In East Hampton, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.